Did you know you have the power to transform your health and your life? After years of suffering with undiagnosed autoimmune symptoms, I found myself on an endless loop of expensive supplements, broken promises, and drive through meals. I was a busy working mom struggling with chronic pain. I could no longer keep up with life until I decided to take my health into my own hands. I discovered the healing power of whole foods and incorporated a healthy lifestyle that is simple, affordable, and maintainable even when life gets busy. With easy, whole food meal prep, meal planning, and wellness strategies, I healed my autoimmune symptoms, regained my energy, and lost 30 pounds along the way. I discovered I had the power to change my life, and I know you have that power too. Whether you're looking to reduce inflammation, lose weight, or optimize your health, this is it. Get ready to discover the vibrant life you deserve with the Prepared for Wellness podcast. I'm Ashley Cavolo, and I can't wait to join you on this journey. Hey, you guys. Happy Saturday. I hope you're enjoying the weekend so far. I wanted to hop on and share a little holiday bonus with you. I can't believe we're like six days away from Thanksgiving. That is crazy. So I wanted to share some of my tips for healthy eating during the holidays. So this is our favorite time of year for our family. We get really excited for the holidays. Of course, everything's geared around family, friends, and food. So things get a little crazy. They get a little hectic. It's so easy to fall into old habits during the holidays. And in the past, all of a sudden, a week has gone by and I haven't eaten a single healthy thing. I haven't fit in a workout because we've been so busy. And I think it's really important to just get back to basics and remember the simple things during these times. So here are my tips to get through Thanksgiving, trying to stay healthy and stay on track. Tip number one, continue with your meal planning or quick and easy meals for the week. Um, I think it's really important to stay with your schedule. Try as much as you can to do that. Tip number two, the morning of Thanksgiving, start the day off right with a healthy breakfast. Have a veggie filled omelet, make a smoothie full of fruits and veggies, fill it up with some protein, fats that, you know, going to sustain you for the day. And you'll really start the day off right. You'll start your metabolism, your blood sugar off on the right tone. Um, It's really important to start your morning with a healthy breakfast. And tip number three, focus on healthy snacks during the day, like fruits and veggies, yogurt, maybe veggies and hummus, something of the sort. Just try and stay healthy. Save the splurges for that Thanksgiving meal. Tip number four, if you have a workout routine, get in a fun workout before Thanksgiving dinner. It will energize you. It'll help you stay motivated to make smart choices and you will just feel better. So what do you do When you're sitting at the table during Thanksgiving dinner, you have piles of food in front of you, so many options, it's fun, right? So tip number one, choose healthy swaps when you can. So instead of mashed potatoes, try mashed sweet potatoes. Um, Instead of regular stuffing, try an almond flour bread stuffing or swap a roll for a side salad. Tip number two, add more protein and veggies to your plate. Look at your plate and make sure the majority of it is veggies and protein. And tip number three, this is a holiday, a time to enjoy yourself, enjoy the people you're with. So leave a little room for dessert and your favorite side. Decide really what truly will make this meal satisfying and enjoyable to you. Think ahead and decide what you're going to splurge on. For me, I love stuffing. It is my favorite, so I always make room for some stuffing. And just make sure the majority of your plate is full of the healthier options. So the takeaway here is stay on track before 
and get back on track after. It's one meal, it's one day. Focus on spending time with the people you love and not the food you eat. So I hope you all have an amazing Thanksgiving. Enjoy the time with your family and friends and hopefully these tips will help you. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope this episode helped you in your health journey and just maybe you learned something new. If you love this episode, please leave a review. When you do, you are helping this podcast reach others around the world. Visit my website, preparedforwellness.com to view my coaching offers, free recipes, and so much more. Don't forget to grab your free gift while you're there. Follow me on Instagram at Prepared for Wellness and join my VIP Facebook group, Prepared for Wellness Community. Don't miss out on the fun and special announcements.